Hey cats, it's Ed, news hound bud here. It's about that time for the running news update. Thanks for joining us on the channel. If it's your first time here, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button and click the bell below for notifications when I roll out the news for you. Also helps the channel a huge amount if you give this video a thumbs up like and share it with your running buddies. Danke schön. Story one today. A couple of forthcoming Nike releases to inspect here. The classic Pegasus is set to resurface very soon. A full upgrade cycle this time around in 2022 with the Pegasus 39. This one's going to drop on April 28th. I think it's going to be about 120 US Earth credits. So probably about, I don't know, 110 quid or something over here in the UK. This time we've got front and rear air units. Similar to the Pegasus 34, in fact, so they've kind of gone back to what they had previously several years ago. In fact, a lot of people will say the Pegasus 34 was one of the best yet, so let's hope so. I think the 35 had a full length air unit, so yeah, we're chopping and changing every year. Just switch up the foam every now and then. I quite enjoyed the 38, actually. I thought that was a great shoe. Nice, reasonable price, good durability, great daily offering. Let's hope the 39 delivers. I'll be picking it up to test it out. It's one of those shoes that loads of people enjoy, so I think it's worth a review. No official release date yet for the Pegasus Turbo Next Nature, but I'm sure that Nike will let us know that it's out with loads of marketing material about how great for the environment it is. Apparently 55% of the midsole here is recycled parts of old Zumex scraps, probably made from the broken up parts of shoes that you've sent back to them. I really hope that someone goes around and like sweeps up bits from the floor of the factory or something and then they just glue them all back together. Well, I don't really hope that because it doesn't sound like it's going to be a particularly good shoe if they do that. The more I think about the Pegasus Turbo Next Nature, the less I think it's going to be like the actual Pegasus Turbo original. That was React and ZoomX and that worked really well. That combination is great. Here it's going to be mainly ZoomX with some of that Vomero 16 type cushion around the toe and the heel. Maybe they just found the ZoomX scraps on a rubbish dump, who knows? I just, of course, a shoe made up of 50% recycled materials is of course a good thing. I'm just glad to see that there's some type of Pegasus Turbo on the horizon. I'll be holding out for the retro that they release in like 15 years via the sneakers app that costs 400 quid. I really enjoyed the Pegasus Turbo 2 and the original Pegasus 35 Turbo as well. So let's just hope it's got some of that DNA in there somewhere. Do either of these shoes light your fire, float your boat? Let us know in the comments below. Story 2. The Norwich Evening News recently posted a report on the low numbers and turnout at recent running events. It's all going a bit Alan Partridge, this one. I've got to say, local events, it definitely seems like there's a bit of a decrease in the number of runners. Certainly the number of finishes, anyway. These events just don't seem to be filling up as quickly as they did before the pandemic. Maybe people are a little bit worried and a bit anxious still could be. I can remember a time when some elite runners would sort of miss out on places in certain races they were so difficult to get into. Maybe it's been made easier for people to join because there's all sorts of different payment methods then but it doesn't seem to be happening now. The article does speculate that people are simply running for fitness and exercise with less emphasis on times and positions. I certainly feel less bothered about that. Not that I ever did before but when racing I just kind of enjoy it it's the actual thing doing the actual race is the enjoyment part i think it's just less of a concern for the majority of people isn't it only a few people are going to finish you know in the top 10 or top 5 or something brings a smile to my face just getting a little bit nearer to finishing in the top 10 of a park run you know i'm no elite runner i just like getting out there talking of park runs the writer does suggest very correctly that they seem to be at round about the same number of participants as they were before the pandemic. Maybe we've even got more people attending certain park runs. Looking back at some of the races that I've entered though over the last few years, there's definitely been a decrease. I think there are 775 participants that completed the Yeovil Half Marathon the other day. That was compared to about 1,619 when they last ran it in 2019, so that's a huge decrease. I may have got that wrong, but I think that's the number that 
finished. The Salisbury Half back in 2019 had about 800 entrants, only 300 in 2021. So certainly the entrance into some of the races within the Southwest are that bit lower. What's it like where you live in the local area? Let me know if race entries are decreasing for you guys down in the comments. Story three. A recent ASIC study has found some interesting links and correlation between physical activity and mental health. The MIND study surveyed a huge number of midsole equipped maniacs. I'm one of those people. They got them to partake in something that's actually really quite odd. They wanted them to not run for a whole week. They then recorded the results, how people felt after that. I know how I'd feel. I struggle even just not running for a day. 23% of these runners reported odd, irrational-like thoughts. I know I certainly have done. Though they did find that runners only needed 15 minutes of activity to kind of remove all that stuff, all that negativity, put things right and just sort of elevate them back to where they were previously. Without activity, there were several different things that seemed to deteriorate or decrease. Confidence and energy levels were all lower between about 18 to 23 percent. It was also noted that people's ability to deal and cope with very stressful situations was diminished also. So it does appear that state of mind is absolutely boosted by running. We all knew that anyway, right? At least now though, there's some distinct metrics there. There's some numbers that can actually show us that that is the case. You can see the phenomenon in action. But I was really surprised to see that the highest mental state level achieved there out of 100 was 68. And I think that only dropped to about 55 out of 100 when you take into account the people that weren't running. Those that had like stopped to exercise. I'm pretty sure mine's more like 100 out of 100 when I'm running and then like 10 out of 100 when I'm not. Maybe I have a problem. Nah, I enjoy it. Story 4. I was really interested to see that the ultra running brand have dropped their Vanish carbon shoe. I would say it's a carbon plate shoe. It's only a half plate here. In fact, to me, it looks a little bit like this guy. A double wedge of the Ego Pro Ultra foam here. Still sticking though with that wider toe box that is the trademark of the brand. I think the big thing to take away from this one is that Ultra have tried to produce a shoe that doesn't mess around hugely with the biomechanics of a runner. They wanted to create something that alters the way that we run a little less perhaps than some of the other super shoes. They use the term tuned to our bodies and they've taken about 17 prototypes to get there. I think that does make a little bit of sense personally. Some people do prefer the narrower plate that we find in the Vaporfly Next Percent from Nike. Other people prefer the wider spatula that we get in the Alphafly. Interesting to see that this is a Carbotex half plate here with those sort of prongs. It's almost like they've mixed together loads of ideas from other shoe brands. We've got the sort of prong nature there, a little bit like the energy rods found in some of the Adidas shoes. Of course, Carbotex is the brand of carbon plate that was used in the Adi Zero Pro. Flew under the radar a little bit, that one. Ultra have certainly put their spin on things though, and there's some quite considerable outsole there. Quite a hefty price tag on this one, not sure I'll pick it up, maybe I'll check a couple of reviews out and see if it's something that might be worth checking for the viewers. Just for you guys. Whatever next day, guys. Perhaps even Reebok will come out with a part carbon plate shoe at some point. That's all the running news for this week. If you've got some interesting stories, hit me up on the email that's in the description of this video. Musical interlude time. I'm a massive Niall Rogers fan. Always loved his guitar style. That sound is so infectious. The bass lines as well on Chic songs, always interstellar. If you enjoy dancing, surely Chic have got to be right up there on your list. There's so many classic tunes as well, The Freak, for example, and Good Times. If you hear that, I mean, how is it possible not to have a smile on your face? I think for me, though, it's the wonderful chord changes in the track, Everybody Dance. Just so unexpected, there's a little air of mystery in there as well. How did they possibly come up with those amazing, beautiful chord progressions? What about I Want Your Love? What an amazing tune. Production's always so good as well on chic tracks. 
Niall Rogers at the controls, he knows what to do. Very tempted by that Niall Rogers hit maker reissue Stratocaster that Fender have just put out. Oh, it's so beautiful, it's a beautiful thing. See, running shoes, smell good. Sneakers smell good, new guitars smell even better. Go and check out some Nile Rogers and Chic. It will brighten up your weekend or weekday. Or you might be watching this on a rainy Monday morning in the middle of winter. Who knows? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of today's video. It is always appreciated. Hit the subscribe button and click the bell for notifications. Not forgetting to give this video a thumbs up like and sharing it with your running buddies. My name is Ed Bud, and I'll be seeing you.